Okay, this is the picture that was on the top of that thing I had for you, right? It shows something. What is it showing us? Transportation. Okay, go on. Pollution. Pollution. Who said that? Uh, revolution. The industrial revolution. Industrial revolution, meaning what? What does that mean? Mass production. Good. What else do we find? Interchangeable parts. What does that mean? If you like mass produce the same parts for like things and then you can just change them. Good. So let's say instead of we have 15 people trying to make the same part, you know, all different ways, will they be interchangeable? But if we come up with a die that creates this whole thing, a pattern, right, that they're all exactly the same, they're interchangeable. And then we mass produce it. What does that mean? What would the word mass mean here? Making a lot of it. Large numbers, mass production, right? And that's what we look at with this. The Industrial Revolution meant we, we, we started at somewhere and then got through a revolution, which a revolution means what? A change, a big change. Imagine this. It revolved to 180 degrees. It changed direction, right? That's a pretty big deal, isn't it? Because you're starting at one place, and all of a sudden, boom, you go somewhere else. What were some of the big factors that we saw within this chapter that were the big changes? Steamboats. Steamboats. What would that do for you? It made it easier to transport, like, lumber and stuff, from, like, west goods to the east coast and stuff. How much easier is it to go upstream with a steamboat than it is with wind <laughs> and guys with oars? Much faster, right? I mean, you can fly up. In fact, they say that it would take two months to sail a ship across the ocean to get to Europe. How much time did it take with a steamboat? A couple weeks. Two weeks. Now you go, two weeks? That's a long time. Now it is, because we can fly overseas in, what, eight hours? But in those days, you had just spent, eight, you know, two months on a boat, or you could spend two weeks on a steamboat. That's fast, right? That's super fast. And so now our trade increases with Europe. Is that right? Yeah. Trade increases. Our textiles are being increased. The, the amount that we make, okay, was that came from what? What part was that that did that? What made that huge change in the textile industry? Sewing machines. Sewing machines. What else? Cotton gin helped make, uh, helped make a lot of cotton quickly. The mills. The mills. In fact, what was that machine called? A loom. Think of Forrest Gump. Spinning Jenny. All right, the spinning Jenny. They could get a lot of thread done in a hurry. A lot of people had work. Suddenly, you had big things happening. People moving to the city. Cities start to develop. You have people that are setting up along rivers because the trade routes are great. You can transport anywhere you want to go. This is where people are going to live. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. They're going to set up in these big cities. Okay? Railroads come along. What do they run on? Tracks. <laughs> yeah. Or steam. Yes, yeah, steam engine railroads that run on, thank you, Max, tracks. All right? And so with that, they can move stuff across land like that. I'll send a link to your dad. <laughs> All right, I'm just kidding. All right, anyway, um, there's a lot of things. There's something else that's happening. What is this all about? Who are the people that helped make that possible? McCormick. Yeah, John Deere and McCormick. They start creating... Planners and reapers, all sorts of things that increases the farming production. Now, what else can you do? You can farm more land in less time. You can take better care of your crops, right? Because you'll have more time to do that. Thank you, Morgan, for creating a flying airplane for me. Mm, whatever. Yeah. All right. Okay. 
There's one more thing that increased during this time. We see that everything's growing bigger and bigger and bigger and faster. One more thing. Sammy yep, Sammy. Sammy Morris, the guy who created the Morris Code and the Telegraph. Now, how long does it take for an event to happen before we hear about it on the news over our communication system? Maybe not even that long. Yeah, it can go as quick as just, you know, a minute. Just like that. What would it be like to not have any electrical movement of news? How would you get it from one town to the next to the next? By horses. So your news travels only as fast as your horse can run. Right? What if it was something important? It could take you weeks to get that message across to everybody, right? Now they've got this telegraph anywhere that there's an office, boom, that message is there. Well, maybe not that fast, but it's there, right? Just got to know how to read Morse code. So everything is growing faster. It's almost uh, exponential growth. Now, one more thing to remember. The cotton gin in the South caused cotton to become king, right? And that was their major cash crop. But what did they need to help them get that cash crop in and out to market? What did they need a lot more of? Slaves. The African slave trade's done, right? So now they're starting to trade more and more and more. We talked about this, right? Okay, good. So we got all that stuff happening. We have, uh, in the north, do you think that they accidentally by creating the need for more cotton and more other materials from the South, created that need for more slaves? Yeah. Kind of. You could almost say that, couldn't you? It's kind of crazy. They don't, you know, people don't usually look at it that way. However, when we think about it, the responsibility really lies on everybody. Okay? Started at the signing of the Constitution. But they still need to stay unified. They still need to expand. There's a lot of other things that cause this civil war to happen, but do you suppose that most of those railroad tracks, most of those steamboats were in the north or south? North. North, the big cities, the big industrial cities. Right? And that's the way that that works. All right. Any questions about this chapter? Is that some of our main points? You got a question? Okay. All right. Thank you very much.